Hey everyone, welcome to today's adventure in the heart of Japan's enchanting forests. We're here to uncover a cultivation technique that's been a well-kept secret for almost a millennium. Imagine this. Deep in these lush woodlands, a method known simply as growing shiitake mushrooms in the wood has flourished. Now, you might be familiar with shiitake mushrooms, but picture this scene with me. Millions of them thriving harmoniously amidst towering trees, their earthy aroma mingling with the crisp forest air. Japan, known not as the largest exporter but indisputably as the producer of the tastiest shiitakes, holds a treasure trove of culinary delight within these ancient woods. In today's video, I'm thrilled to take you behind the scenes of this extraordinary process. What sets these forest-grown shiitakes apart? What makes them so special that connoisseurs worldwide seek them out? Join me as we delve into the intricacies of this centuries-old tradition, where every step unveils a new layer of expertise and reverence for nature. The process starts with raw logs, which are cut and range in size from 90 centimeters to 120 centimeters. Can you imagine the sight of these logs being carefully prepared for their transformation? It's like preparing the stage for a natural masterpiece. When we carry the logs to the foot of the mountain, the real magic happens. Each log undergoes a precise logging process, creating an inviting series of small flaws. And here's what's really interesting. We're talking about fungal reproduction. They are compact, almost like small potentials, and are pursued to every fault with finesse. It is truly mesmerizing to find each log with about 30 persimmon pieces attached, becoming a center for growing delicious shiitake mushrooms in the future. Today, technology has streamlined this ancient process, making it more efficient and accessible. But what is really encouraging is the play of the elderly in Japan. This is not just a job, it's a passion. Mushroom growing has become a favorite pastime for many elders, who provide not only the experience but also a deep connection to the land and its traditions. The next phase of our shiitak mushroom journey in Japan, where the logs are now incubating in a cool, shaded area. Over the next couple of weeks, something truly fascinating is happening beneath the surface. The mushroom mycelium is spreading and bonding with the wood, preparing for the incredible harvest to come. Now let's talk about the greenhouse method. This approach offers some remarkable advantages that are revolutionizing mushroom cultivation. Imagine a controlled environment where moisture and temperature are finely tuned, ensuring the perfect conditions for growth. This not only boosts the quality of the mushrooms, but also makes the entire process more efficient and manageable. But here's the kicker. Even with the greenhouse method, patience is key. It still takes a full two years for these shiitake mushrooms to mature before they're ready for harvest. It's a testament to the dedication and precision required in this craft. While the greenhouse method offers control over moisture, temperature, and ease of harvesting, it's said to have its downsides. The biggest gripe? The quality of mushrooms just doesn't quite match up to those grown naturally. So, what makes natural-grown mushrooms so special? Well, imagine this. Nestled in the heart of a lush forest, these mushrooms derive all their nutrients straight from the wood itself. It's like they're absorbing the essence of the forest, resulting in a depth of flavor that's hard to replicate. While they boast unparalleled flavor and nutritional benefits, the quantity harvested each year is limited. It's like nature's way of reminding us that the best things come in small batches. That scarcity drives up the price, making fresh mushrooms a luxury and dried ones even more valuable, especially for export markets. Now let's talk about why these mushrooms are worth every penny. After harvesting, the best mushrooms will be carefully selected and quickly dried in a specialized dehydrator. 
This preserves their rich flavor and good nutrition, ensuring they are ready to be enjoyed around the world. And speaking of nutrition, shiitake mushrooms are a powerhouse. They contain lots of protein and essential minerals like calcium, iron, and magnesium. Plus, they're packed with vitamins B and C, which add a health boost to any meal. What's more, when dried, they are extremely low in fat and calories while being high in fiber, making them not only nutritious but delicious too. Personally, I absolutely love mushrooms. They're so versatile and add a wonderful depth of flavor to dishes. My favorite way to cook shiitake mushrooms is to saute them with garlic and a splash of soy sauce for that savory umami goodness. They're also fantastic in soups, stir fries, and even grilled. Let me know in the comments your favorite mushroom recipes or how you enjoy cooking them. And if you find this video insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our explorations into the world of food and culture. That's all for today's adventure. Everyone, goodbye and see you next video. 